Okay. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we went uh, down to the river, uh, and I took a few shots. Uh, the sky was horrible. Uh, it was lightly overcast, but there was absolutely... No, I won't say absolutely, but... Uh, um, very little detail in the sky. I kind of like this tree because the tree behind it just kind of looked cool to me. So I played with it in Lightroom, uh, made it black and white. Uh, but I remembered I used a technique to put the color back in an old photo that I edited. And if I can find it, I'll put a link to it below. But uh, here I added the uh, effect to it. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Now this picture, oh, it's a colored picture. It's horrible. <laughs> but I do really love the reflection in the water. So in Lightroom, I edited it. I would use GIMP to do this, but I love editing raw photos. <laughs> and this is what I came up with. Now here I've added the uh, color to it. Um, I probably need to work on getting the color out of the corners there. It's hard to see, but there's some slight lines up in the clouds. But almost a metallic look on the reflections in the water, which I really liked. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Here's GIMP with the black and white. So I'm going to come over here, right click, add alpha channel. Then I'm going to duplicate it. And we'll work on this picture. So um, I'm going to create a transparent uh, layer. And here on the foreground background, I'm going to put the uh, black as the background. And then change the white to a color I really like. <laughs> HTML, uh, if you want to use the color, same color I'm using. It's F, F. F, 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 F. Shouldn't be too hard to remember. That's uh, six Fs. <laughs> uh, I never noticed that before. But <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose this color and click OK. And then I'm going to drag that color over to uh, the transparent layer. And I'm going to change the layer mode to overlay. And that's actually a really cool. I'd like to uh, maybe make it a little more intense. So I'm going to duplicate that layer. Now I like that, but uh, it's a little over the top. Now we're seeing the streaks in the clouds. And I don't like the color in the water in the corners. I'm not going to take care of it on this video. If you want me to do a video on how to do that, let me know. What I'm going to actually do is this top layer. I'm going to bring down the opacity. Until I see a color I like. And I've kind of found 50% looks real good on this picture.
The only thing I wish, <laughs> the RV park across the river, I didn't like that. But it's good enough. So here we can save as a GIP file if you want to come back and edit it later. Or we can export as. Call this reflection. Sorry for the clicking. I need to get a new headphone headset. And I always take the quality, especially working in JPEG, all the way up. And we click export. Now just for fun, let's uh, see how the two compare. Because they're going to be a little different. Okay, here we've got the reflection. I really like the metallic uh, uh, reflection here in the water. And here's my original. Well, the one I liked. Very little difference. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and get some good out of it.